what if it's your boy, Pat Artist, Big Sixer Podcast, coming back at you with a, uh, I don't know, this is going to be a new one, kind of like a, I don't know, I guess you could call it, I guess you could call it a field report, but uh, in the field, I came across something called the Beers of the World Pack. Yes, this is nine beers, Beers of the World, from World Market. And it comes in this cool little like nine pack box type of deal. So I figured I was going to go through uh, this nine pack and I was going to drink two and then uh, we'll review those. And then two of them, two of the other ones, you'll get to see on Brittany's brew review. I'm not going to tell you which ones, but here we go. So first off, a German beer called Hacker sure bra mm-hmm. sure right so it looks like this i'm gonna drink this one while i go over it's an oktoberfest marzen uh it's ranked pretty high on beer advocate uh has a score of 89 very good uh abv is 5.8 so that's pretty cool it's got this um you know lady riding a horse got some hatchets and shit all right <clears throat> let's test this out pop this boy open and of course i'm gonna use oh shout out lagunitas that's that old swag you know what i'm saying yeah right off the bat this is kind of like kind of gnarly um it smells fucking hella yeasty on honestly but pour it in the glass so you guys can see what we're working with for this law, this Mars and Lager. I don't know. Kind of looks very October festy to me. A little bit darker than normal, but maybe if I put it over here. See, yeah. Kind of, I don't know, very ambery color. Um, it's a German brewery. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. Fuck okay, it. Whatever. Hmm. Hmm. All right. It's interesting as far as like Oktoberfest beers go. <clears throat> Whew, okay. Um, we're gonna get a little mood more than this. Anyway, <clears throat> this thing says, I'm just gonna give a quick little note, I guess, as I go. Uh, it says, forbidden as it was to brew in summer, a stronger beer than Marzen was brewed in earlier was brewed earlier in March. It would finally be served at the Oktoberfest under the heaven of Bavaria. We have returned once again to the age-old recipe and recreated that gloriously smooth, honey-colored piece of history from times gone by. And all is brewed with due reverence to the Bavarian purity law of 1516. So go ahead and check that out. <clears throat> um, it looks dark as fuck when I'm with it with the with the blue, but it's pretty good. I, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, let's lighten it up. I'm just gonna go keep fucking flipping through them so you can see them. So we're gonna do two at a time. Maybe not really two at a time. Um, So this is a Czech Republic beer. It's called Czech Var, original Czech lager. This looks pretty cool. It says greeting from the Republic of Beer on the side of it. Uh, 11.2, so same kind of bottle as a Stella. Uh, Can't really see much about, oh, 5%. So 5%. That's cool. And then uh, I'm going to put them down here. So we go. So we got that. <clears throat> we got this German Schofferhofer Hefenweizen passion fruit beer. This is the lightest color one out of all nine. Um, you can see there's like some, got some shit in the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 11.2, same thing as the last one. 
Uh, says unfiltered. No shit. Uh, damn, this motherfucker says two point five. So, yeah, do with that what you will. Okay. Take can we take a couple more steps. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Mm -mm. Mm. It's a pretty good little Oktoberfest beer. Yeah. You gotta you gotta drink as many as you can throughout the year, I say. <clears throat> Moving on, we are going to Copenhagen, Denmark. The Carlsberg Premium Elephant Pilsner. Very cool. Uh, it, it's pretty funny. It says uh, on the bottom, embossed, it says probably the best beer in the world. 11.2, 7.2. Whoo, heavy, heavy boy. <clears throat> I'm excited to try that one. This one uh, is called Belita Superior. Uh, cerveza beer, 4.6 in a Mexico. It's pretty cool. Little, you know, little, uh, it reminds me of like old Miller can or bottles or whatever. <laughs> pretty cool. So check that out. Moving on. Uh, so we have, I'm going to grab the last one too. Last one before I'll show you the one I'm going to drink. So we have Kingfisher is a lager. Uh, brewed and bottled Kingfisher Brewing Company, Utica, New York. I didn't know Kingfisher was in Utica. Anyway, that's Kingfisher. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I don't think I don't think this is actually. I don't know, dude. I didn't. I didn't know Kingfisher was from New York. That's kind of weird. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, breweries limited. Yeah, because it's from fucking India. That's what I thought. I knew I'd had this somewhere in, in like an Indian restaurant or something. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> this one's kind of cool. Moosehead Canadian Lager. Like in the green green bottle vibe of all this. So this one, 5.0. Pretty solid. I've had this one before. Did I say how much a Kingfisher was? I don't think I did. Uh, Kingfisher is a 4.8. If you guys wanted to know that. Moosehead, I'm excited about this one. This one's dope. Um, like I said, I don't know which ones will be going for the brew review. But possibly Moosehead. And another weird one. I thought was, this was kind of strange. I think I should probably kill this one, huh? I, I guess so. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Right. So <clears throat> this one, that was kind of weird because it's a it's a local beer but so it's called Hap and Harry's Hap and, and Harry's uh, Tennessee Lager it says great friends great beer it's got these dudes names written on it it's pretty cool too it's embossed so you can like feel it it's got these homies on the back one looks like Dan Aykroyd tell me that dude doesn't look like Dan Aykroyd look at the video version of this anyway <clears throat> go check out Ghostbusters um fuck this one is weird it doesn't say does it say i know it says it's brewed here in nashville which is kind of dope um it says hop yeah you know, hap motlo of the legendary jack daniel family from lynchburg tennessee go to lynchburg it's a pretty cool tour he used to tell his friend harry Littman, just like great whiskey a great beer starts with the best ingredients good water choice grains and high grade yeast brewed with integrity as the, the first distributor of Jack Daniels after the repeal of Prohibition, Harry passed this lesson down through the generations of Lippmans who remain in the industry to this day. Happen Harry's honors the friendship these two men shared over 
a half century ago. Cheers to great friends and great beer. So this is kind of like, I feel like this beer kind of is a 4.9. Kind of shares the same motto as Quick Sixer. So go check this out if you're in town, if you can find it. It's kind of a weird one to find. It's not everywhere, I feel like. But check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm going to finish this little guy, and then I'll show you the last one because it's a doozy. All right. So I said I was going to try two. I have to get moody as fuck for this one. You know what I'm saying? Just fucking moody. Just the most mood. So let's make it a little moody in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Maybe pink. Maybe pink. Yeah. No. It's kind of purple, <clears throat> red. You know what I'm saying? Maybe turn down this light a little bit so you can see. Okay. So for this final beer, it's called Le Fin du Monde. Le Fin du Monde. Okay. Um, it is from Unibro, which is in Quebec, Canada, brewed year round. I think the red is fucking with my old video. So back to regular. Um, it's a Trapel, ranked number one Trapel on uh, Beer Advocate. I'm gonna read this thing and then I'm, as I as I pour, I guess. But let's pop this. The fucked up thing. So I said it was heavy boy. This shit says 9.5 on the corner. That's gnarly for any beers. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I'm pouring in this glass so you can see what it was, what it was rocking with. Trapel, you know, I like a trapel. I like a trapel every now and then. And I hope I'm saying that right, but or tr I think I am, but there's a little bit more in here, but. Nice golden. If you like a, a a Belgian beer, you just want a heavier version, basically. Trapel is the way to go. So it says <clears throat> Le Fin Dumont was developed through 18 months of research on a unique strain of yeast originating from Europe. It is brewed in honor of the intrepid European explorers who believe they had reached the end of the world. When they discovered North America, the new world. This triple style gold nail recreates the style of beer originally developed in the Middle Ages by Trappist monks. How dope would it be if like you were your shit was called you was you was a Trappist, you know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, Trappist monks for special occasions, and as such, it was the first of its kind to be brewed in North America. So you know, shout out to them OGs, them traps, you know what I'm saying? Whoa. That's pretty gnarly. <clears throat> huh. It says Belgian style IPA India Pale Ale. Galaxy, Willamette, Cascade, and Simcoe. That's what I'm getting. This is, it says Brasserie Brewery, Unibro. So I don't know anything about them. So um, if you guys hear this episode, go ahead and send us some shit. I, I would be down to review more of your beverages. Um, I'm not going to finish this one on this stream, but um, <clears throat> go check this out. Here it is in full light again. Le Fin du Mont, Belgian style IPA, 9.5. Fucking heavy boy, I'm telling you. It's really good, though. Um, I, wasn't, I was actually expecting it 
to not be, but not be that good. So I was like kind of tripping. I was like, man, this is not going to be as great as I want it to be. But I think this shit is. You know what I'm saying? Get moody for the end of this, this video. So anyway, <clears throat> this has been your boy, Pat Artis. Go and check out the Beers of the World pack, the World Market, if you can. This is not sponsored. I just saw it and thought it was cool. Um, look, it's cool. It comes in all different worldly flavors. I thought it was cool that they had this happen. Harry's like local shit. I don't know if they. I actually drop 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 some comments if um, you find this in your local area and they have like a local beer from a brewery near you. Uh, I'm actually really interested if they do that or not. But um, I don't know because I don't live where you live. So go check that out. Um, shout out to all nine of these breweries. Dope, um, I'm sure. And uh, go and check out our last video. Um, we had the boys from Anyone Can Die podcast on. Great podcast about horror movies and horror, you know, this horror stuff. So those dudes are great. Uh, go check that out. And next, you'll probably there's a, there's some shit coming up. I'm saying right now, but uh, some dope interviews. We're gonna probably get some some more BFFs in here. Um, <clears throat> probably are you definitely gonna see a few uh, Brittany Brittany's brew reviews coming soon, which are always fun. You know, Brittany's the greatest. So uh, go and check those out. Um, also, if you do pick up one of these beers of the world packs, uh, drop what your list was. I told you my nine. I want to see what yours were. So if it's different from ours, if, if from mine, shit, you know, like maybe I need to have you guys on. You could talk about what you had different. We can review your shit. Till then, I'm probably going to go get faded on this. I appreciate you dropping in. It's been your boy, Pat Artis. This is a, uh, Field report, my dudes. Yeah.